So it is November 17th. There's currently a snowstorm outside and I am going to start documenting behind the scenes of filming a video. I've watched other YouTubers do this before and I always find them so fascinating. I love watching how other YouTubers create their content and I always learn something new that I can use in my own videos. The video I'm going to be working on in this video is going to be an updated all about hamster behaviors video. So the first thing I like to do with educational type of videos is start out by writing a little script. This isn't like your traditional TV show script. This is just like points to things so that I don't forget. As soon as I turn my camera on, my brain, my brain, my brain literally goes, what does my brain do? This is what I'm talking about. My brain goes blank. So I have to have some sort of visual indicator to remind me what I'm talking about. So I just got done writing everything out. I'm also going to send this to a hamster friend to just make sure I didn't miss any other behaviors. So it is November 30th, 9.43 a.m. and I'm finally getting around to filming this video. Um, so I have to do my makeup first. So that's what we're gonna do. Ignore the fact that I just put my mirror on top of my air purifier and that's how I do my makeup. I don't have a fancy desk. straighten my hair for this video. Okay, so now it is time to set everything up. The filming camera I use is the Sony Lumex GH5 and I use the 50 millimeter lens with it. So I gotta switch this out. This one, because of this lens, has to sit pretty far back in order to get the whole shot. I'm also going to grab my battery dummy. So this is what a battery dummy is. It's a battery that you can plug into the wall so that you can film for hours and hours and not have to worry about your battery dying. My mic and the stand that I use, just a stool. This setup is really, it's more complicated than it needs to be. I use the Blue Yeti mic with the Lumix, but you cannot directly plug <laughs> the Yeti into the Lumix, so it's a little bit more steps. I also grab my ring light. Even though there are two windows and it is pretty bright, I also use the ring light. There's a lot of cords. Okay, check this. Good. <laughs> so I grab my MacBook Air and that is what the Blue Yeti plugs into so that we can get sound. I'm just going to kind of clean up my desk area, turn my Mac on. 
I also have to change out the famous letter board and add something related to the video. audio recording and the record button at the exact same time and also because I have to sync up the audio with the video I usually do a little clap action <laughs> since we can't speak to our hamsters it's important that we learn their body language <laughs> I like breathe since we can't speak I do that a lot by the way, I repeat myself, you will come to see. Do keep in mind that if you do notice your hamster suddenly changes behavior, that it is important that you visit your local exotic vet because this can indicate that something is wrong with them. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! And that is a wrap. Yay! Now to see if it's good or not. <laughs> so now I put the memory card in. And we can open up Final Cut Pro. So we place that in there. And then I grab my audio. And I basically have to line it up. If I don't line up, it's going to be opposite, like, um, like this. <laughs> so, I gotta line this up. Action. That's pretty good. Now for the fun part, that is going through and, um, <laughs> clipping everything and listening to my voice 562 times. So, here we go! We got the video down to 11 minutes and 47 seconds, so that is really good. Um, considering there was an hour of footage, that's mainly because I have issues with having to make the perfect sentence. So this video is going to rely pretty heavily on b-roll clips, lots of which I don't have videos of my hamsters doing some of these behaviors. So I'm going to do an Instagram story to reach out to some of my followers to see if they have any of these videos that I could use in my video with credit. So that is what that looks like. And now I will just have to wait and see if anybody has any of these clips. It is December 1st. 8.58 a.m. and I'm getting ready to edit the rest of the video. I'm going to be adding all of the fun little bits and bobs. So I am going to add in my intro and then we're gonna overlay my social media.
I've gotten over a hundred people submitting videos of their hamsters doing behaviors. So I have to go through those and um, pick which ones I'm going to be able to use in my video. Uh, I had to get myself a really healthy snack because I'm still looking through emails. It's been like an hour. It is 12 p.m. and I've now retreated to using some blue blocking glasses, even if they don't seem to do anything. <laughs> That's not helpful. No, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> Scooch. It is now 2.30 p.m. I've kind of put the video together to my liking. Now I have to add music. This is my least favorite part. Um, I get my music off of epi epidemicsound.com. Um, I hate doing this. I hate looking through music. Okay, so I gave it a final watch through. This is what the timeline looks like <laughs> when I'm done. Um, it's now 3 p.m. Oh gosh, can you even see that? It's now 3 p.m. and I'm going to be exporting the video. There we go. The next thing I do is I put the exported video into the app Handbrake. This is like a compression app. It will make the size of the file smaller so that I can upload a little bit faster. So I do that and that will probably take a couple of minutes to export out. And now we can upload the video. Now I have to add in all of the important details that people may not notice. In the video, these are things like the description bar, the title, eye cards, the ending of the video, subtitles, thumbnail, tags, all that jazz. So for the description bar, uh, it already has my stuff pre-added, but I'm going to add a little bit of a blurb about the video. I also am going to add a little blurb to the people that submitted video clips. So that is all done. Now I'm going to do the end screen portion. This is like super simple. Just add it in. And then the eye cards. These are little cards that will pop up during the video in the corner if you ever notice. And I usually will use these when I'm topic talking about a specific topic. The next thing I have to do is the subtitles. This is my least favorite thing to do because it takes a really long time, but I think subtitles are super important. Not only if you have any hearing issues, but a lot of people just find it easier to read the thing being said on screen while it's happening. Like I can't watch a show without subtitles. So I always try to make sure I have them. Okay, so I'm finally finished doing the English subtitles, so we can save that. Now, one of the fun parts is I can now add other languages. These are auto-translated, so they're not perfect but it's going to be better than nothing for someone who doesn't speak English. So I add pretty much as many languages um, as I can. I wish there was a check all option, but there isn't. So I just tend to stick with the most popular ones. The last thing I have to do is add the thumbnail. I make my thumbnails using a combination of my iPad and the app Procreate as well as pickmonkey.com. So it is December 4th, 8.59 a.m. 
I'm getting ready to put my video public. I put my video public at 9 a.m. So I'm just getting everything set up to press save. I've also got a little Instagram story for me to post at 9 for my Instagram followers. So yeah, and it is now 9 so I can post everything. And I usually would respond to comments right away, but I actually have to go out and do some errands, so I'll have to do that when I come back. But that is pretty much the entire process of how I film my videos. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!